We had yeah. Nasser Dean and Mava versus Roman Delize in the main event. Hey, you know how your boy feels about Roman Delize. Does your boy still feel the same way about Roman Delize? Yeah, not so much. So let me explain what's going on here, dude. With Roman Delize, man, he could be an exciting fighter with the mm-hmm. right matchup, right? Like, yeah, this guy's want to go out there. He's want to bite down on his mouth guard. He's want to throw that overhand right and hope that something lands. But if yeah. it doesn't land, we in trouble. Yeah, and if and if you have any sort of takedown defense, we're in even more trouble because his grappling <laughs> is really fun. Like his transitions on top, his top game is vicious, right? Yeah. And like it's super fun to watch him cut through people's guard, all this stuff, land crazy uh, ground and pound, go for leg locks, all this cool stuff. But if there's any re- sort of resistance, it's going to be a long night. And yeah, yeah. You know, and Bob <laughs> did a really good job of staying in his range making Delize fight his fight. I thought mm. that, you know, when he was keeping that range and uh, Delize was having a hard time closing the distance, I thought, okay, the only chance he's really going to have is blitzing, eating a shot, and just clinching on for dear life and making it as dirty as possible, uh, yeah. which he tried for a little bit. He, he definitely clinched. I don't know if he tried to make it dirty at all. Uh, but actually, Rich, can you go back to that last picture? This was the coolest thing for me is is Imovov was landing his right hand so well, and, like, mm-hmm. he would land his long right hand he would just kind of faint with the left, long right hand, it would land. And then you see how he's leaning to his left? If you're not, if you're listening, you can't see, but if you're watching, you can see the picture. But see how he's kind of leaning to his own left as yeah, he throws that yeah. right? He would do that and he would weave out the other side to the elbow side and then frame off with his hands. And then can you go to the next picture, Rich? Bam. And so off that lean and frame, he'd control the distance and then he'd throw that knee to the body. It was such a cool combination where it was. he's throwing the right hand and dipping out so that he's not there for the return. And then as he's there for the as he's outside of the center line, his hands are out to grab to, to keep range and then drop that knee in. It was beautiful. He did it like seven times throughout the And fight. he hurt the lead day with that knee, right? Yeah. That first big knee. Yeah. He rocked him, man. Yeah. I, I thought he was gonna be out. Yeah, it looked like that was kind of the beginning of the end because he ends hey, up. You know going who won this fight? You know who won this fight? Herbie. Who's that? Yeah. Did Herbie you know? did a fantastic job throughout this entire fight, man. Uh yeah, he did. and this fight was a reminder for me of the tough job that the refs have. And I know that we give <laughs> yeah. them a hard time, right? But the leads they drops, you got Imovov just raining down shots from France. And then I'm like, oh, I would have stopped it right there. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he, he, he needs to stop this. And then he didn't, and Delize was still there, and like he's still defending, and he's like trying to roll into some type of leg lock and just doing whatever he can to survive, and then up he goes again. I was like, oh, snap, Herb Dean doing his damn yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, it was cool because Imovov eventually took his back, right, at the end of the first. He drops him, takes mm-hmm. his back, and he's landing those big, like, uh, who was it, uh, against Gustafson, where they, was it Rumble against Gustafson, where... Uh, where they had him kind of in that like back mount, and he's just like throwing those uppercuts across the body underneath mm. as you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. on both your arms. Um, so he was landing those, couldn't get it. He starts falling off the top, so he switches to the arm bar. I saw some people online saying, "What a dumb IQ move to go for the arm bar there." And it's like there was ten seconds and he was falling off. The arm bar kept him in in the attacking yeah. position for the whole round. So like actually a really solid move from Imovov there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then so he gets out of the round. He survives. Um, this one, this picture is not until later, but I mean, it was kind of just more of the same up until this. Uh, it was basically Imovov landing that right hand, dipping out of the return. Uh, he'd counter the big overhand right from Delize with like a left hook or something, uh, and then he was gone. His his entering and exits were fantastic the whole fight. Really good use of range. Um, Delize would just miss his overhand right over and over again, and then he would like clinch up and just yeah. put him up against the fence. Not really do anything. He didn't ever really drop for a shot. He never went for like a single leg or anything. He just kind of pressed him up against the fence. Imovov would just kind of chill because he's like, this isn't scoring. I'll just wait until we get out of this position. I'll start landing these hands and this knee again. He also was landing that nice uh, snap kick, the front, uh, the lead leg snap kick Mm. to the body that we just saw Teru hurt super leg with. Uh, That was good too. And then this position, Delize was kind of just lazily holding him in the clinch so there was a couple times Imovov would get that back body lock and he would just break his posture and kick him in the face from behind it was fucking really cool Anthony Pettis used to do that a lot actually uh but it was cool seeing someone do that because it's been a while and then he did it illegally once 
<laughs> but it's still he a really sure cool did. technique. You he know? sure did. A couple things with that. The lead day probably should have taken more time, huh? I mean, I get. I mean, if you're the day, here's the look, thing that was weird. He's holding his eyes like he got poked. Yeah. Right. Well, and no, and no, everyone's no. like, "Oh, a, a toe must have went in the eye." No, but no, then no, you see the picture here. Kicked in the he face. He just got smacked in the face, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> really no hard. No toe went in. <laughs> yeah. Really hard with the shin, right? Like yeah. across the bridge of the nose, like by where the eyes are. <laughs> I mean, you can uh, see it here. It's yeah. right in the face. It's a bad. Yeah. It's not good. Um, but yeah, maybe take some more time. Maybe uh, not continue. Try to recover a little bit longer. Maybe and, and try to you know get a little more energy back because he was exhausted, man. I mean, he, he was, was getting he worked. looked tired. He was getting yeah. worked. Yeah, that bad. could be exhausting. Getting beat up, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Eric Nixick was like, "Hey, man, we need you at this point. Stop throwing the overhand right. Switch to southpaw. So yeah. you, you're in more of a wrestling stance. Your entries are going to be better in southpaw. Shoot on him. We need you to shoot, shoot, not clinch. We need you to actually shoot on him." And he was like, "All right, cool. The next round." They're fighting. He's throwing Thanks. the overhand, and then <laughs> he switches southpaw. And I was like, "Oh, he's actually going to shoot. Let's see what. It, we'll, let's see what he has the energy and shoot." And he's like, "Just kidding. I just I just went southpaw so I could throw the spinning back elbow and miss from like a mile away." Yeah, that was rough, and, man. And then he's back to orthodox throwing the overhand right. Um, Herb Dean, good job taking the point. I thought, you gotta. You gotta. yeah, excellent job taking the point. There was no. This is a hard warning, like we yeah. usually get. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, good job separating as well when there is a giant lull in action. oh yeah well not yeah. just that there wasn't really that much of a lull because you had chris curtis in the corner of delizze talking shit to imovov because he's all salty about their head but classic and then imovov tries to like run over to him and herb dean has to literally clinch him and walk him all the way across the cage saying i will disqualify you i'll disqualify you <laughs> oh my god dude what a disaster huh yeah full-on disaster well, this picture right here is basically the story of the fight pun intended it's basically I'm throwing this overhand right so looping that you see it from a mile away and you can frame. Uh, That's why I made sure that we uh, that we had this picture on here because I knew we were going to talk yeah. about that overhand right and it not oh, working. Yeah, and I was like, well, this is this was the fight. Yeah, and actually I wanted to talk about too real quick. I'm surprised we're spending this much time on this fight, to be honest. But, yeah, all right. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I've been watching the the Craig Jones balls to the wall or balls to wall oh. uh, instruction. Oh, you texted me out. about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, so good. For those of you who don't know, Craig Jones is the jiu-jitsu guy who's been teaching Volkanovski. And and I was like, oh, jiu-jitsu guy teaching it's uh instructional instructional on cage wrestling. Let's see what this is. Maybe who knows? It, your your immediate thought is kind of a weird guy to be doing that. And then you think about how much success Volkanovski had in the cage or on the cage with Islam Makachev, and then yeah. you're like, Oh yeah, this is the guy that trained him for that. I don't want anybody else to teach me about cage wrestling. And uh, a lot of it is about if you're deep on a shot, you you want to kind of – you can dig an underhook and all that stuff. But really what you want to do is you, you want to pinch an overhook, uh, split squat, pinch an overhook, fish the underhook if you can. But if you pinch that overhook, you can shrug them up. And then you can start to break that posture that they're trying to be bent over at on the takedown, right? And oh. the whole time watching this, it's like Delize is just chest to chest with them, no real good head position, just holding them like that. There's zero threat of being taken down. And he effectively did all the hard work for Imovov by getting into that position because Imovov is completely safe in that position. Um, but if you haven't checked it out, definitely watch that instructional. It's fucking good. It's is really it? good. Yeah, dude. It's oh, good. dude. I got to check it out. All right. Well, do you have anything else on the uh, main event? No. I mean, what do you do? I think Imovov called out Strickland. They've already fought before. Dolize is a fun fighter outside of the top 10, probably. You know? Mm. Props to uh, Herbie. Herb Dean, best performance of the, of the night. Or, yeah, uh, oh, dude, should have gotten a performance of the night bonus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> hey, everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, And don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.